post by Justin Burns on Instagram of him hitting the heavy bag with audio captions switched on prompted this episode. Shut up! Shut up! Shut Why is there typically more shouting during strikes in Muay Thai training than in fighting? In this episode, I'll share my thoughts on this specifically and on breathing during Muay Thai in general. Welcome to the Heavy Hitters podcast, helping ambitious fighters and coaches take their game to the next level by bridging the gap between strength and conditioning, performance science and Muay Thai. And here is your host, Don Hedrick. In Muay Thai, there should be both an exhale as you throw a strike and as you absorb incoming strikes too. This achieves three main objectives. First, if you hold your breath while throwing a combination or guarding up while absorbing an incoming one, you'll run out of oxygenated blood prematurely. And this switches your energy production to the lactic energy system and you'll prematurely gas out. Exhaling deliberately causes you to automatically inhale afterwards. Try it, you won't even have to think about it. Then you're grabbing oxygen to pump around your bloodstream to keep your muscles contracting efficiently. Secondly, forceful exhalation while throwing power shots should be produced from the diaphragm rather than the throat. Diaphragmatic shouts increase intra-abdominal pressure, aiding power transfer from the hips via the core, which is crucial, to the striking limb, what Japanese martial arts refer to as a ki. And this gives rise to a variety of sounds depending on the individual and the type of strike being thrown. In fact, to illustrate how important the core is to striking, the classic research paper Means of increasing strength of the punch by Filamenov and others shows that the core contributes about 38% to the punching strength of expert boxers. I'll put a link to another video I've done on this with a download of that paper along with this episode. So the core is a big deal and a major reason you find yourself hissing, grunting or shouting as you explosively throw punches and kicks. Thirdly, Exhaling as you absorb an incoming strike acts either like an airbag to dissipate the force, especially blows to the torso, and it also creates more stability through the core to reduce loss of balance and position. Bracing like this is a great habit to develop while even holding pads in training for partners too. I know when I hold pads, I hiss as I catch each incoming strike. This habit alone can make you much more resilient to body shots and a good reason I didn't get stopped with body shots against the ferocious body snatcher Mike Clark in our fight back in February 2012. Why do I think you hear less shouting in fights? My thoughts on this come from my own personal observation, not a research paper I've come across. I find I tend to hiss as I strike when I'm fresh and not too fatigued, even when I'm throwing full power shots. And as my heart rate increases, my noises change. At about 90 to 95% of maximum heart rate, my hisses are largely replaced with some kind of shout. The sound of the shout depends on the strike I'm throwing, and how it activates through my core and diaphragm. So each strike has a different and involuntary noise once I'm operating beyond my anaerobic threshold heart rate and I'm pushing into fatigue. No doubt some fighters likely shout just for effect and perhaps to influence scoring during a fight itself, even if they don't need to due to effort. But during a fight, the majority of fighters are actually operating around their anaerobic threshold, so they don't gas out. And as such, they don't tip significantly into that all-out fatigued throwing of strikes like you do in training. Hence why I believe there's generally less noise in fights than in training. Where training is about overload, fighting is more about efficient use of energy, so as not to leave yourself dead in the water and gassed out, unable to defend yourself. I believe there's a natural factor of safety going on in a fight compared to training. And that's why there's typically less shouting in fights. Thanks for listening. If you found this valuable, please like, subscribe and share with someone else it could help too. Please give the podcast a review or comment below. We'd love to hear from you. 
As always, you can visit heatrick.com for more Muay Thai performance podcasts, videos, articles, and guides. Catch you next time.